Hey, what's up everybody? Tom here again playing some Kerbal Space Program. Today I've built a variation on my I-beam artillery and you might remember this from another video where I had an I-beam uh, launching rover and this time I started by building the barrel. You can see that here. I got that working and built a plane around that and this kind of ammunition clip here. You can see I've got all these I-beams there. Um, so this is all fully stock and you can fire I-beams in flight exactly as I'm going to do here. But because this is so hard to see, uh, and I want to actually show you the mechanism of how this thing fires, I've created a part highlighting algorithm that is hooked up to action group 5. So when I press 5 you can see it detects all the parts with the couplers and highlights the child part which is the I-beam um, and I've got a custom highlight color set there so that's nice to I tap 5 again normal tap 5 again so that's the only non-stock thing going on here um, to drop an I-beam into the chamber you just press spacebar you can see I have this staged over here so that's the engines. I'm gonna hit the brakes, they're already on. Spacebar, all right, so you can see I've got my I-beam in the chamber uh, right there. I've got a single vector engine on the back and four spark engines on the front to give this thing a little extra boost when it leaves the engine or when it leaves the barrel. And now, if I fire up the throttle, uh, action group one turns off the afterburners. I'm just going to launch this from the runway. Um, I'm going to tap two to start the engines and three to stop them. <laughs> you can see that thing goes pretty damn fast and far and gains lift and it's probably going to end up going more than two kilometers. Um, so that's on the runway. The thing I've never done is tried to blow up the space center with these. Uh, I can fire them in flight. I know I can do that. Whoa, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. And yeah, I got like a bunch of steel beams in the middle of my ship that are kind of tall. So this thing's not going to... Oh god, I lost a thing there. Let's take off. This is going to be a wild takeoff. Are the brakes on? Get the brakes off. Are we going to make it? Yes! Oh, what was that? Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Let's go with it. Alright. So, that is the first time I've ever blown up a space center building with my landing gear. And my plane is apparently completely intact. That was a complete accident, and this is total nonsense. Let's keep going with it. Uh, right, so I got my I-beams. That was insane. I can't believe that. That was insane. Uh, we're going to want to loop back around. You can see, so this thing... Oh, I did not even have stability control on. That is my problem. So, that's so much better. That means this thing is pretty balanced, actually. If I'm able to take off without stability control and maneuver, sort of. Um, sort of worried that I blew something up when I nailed that building, as you might be. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's flying just fine. Let's try. Let's try. All right, now, pretty level. Press spacebar to drop an I beam. You can see it's in the chamber. And I'm gonna wait because these things have a tendency to gain a lot of lift and fly up into the air. I'm gonna wait until I'm gonna pitch down. Now launch. You can see it <laughs> it just like flies way up there. How high is that thing going? It's like a kilometer into the air. Um, there's some weird physics going on, so whenever you launch these things, I mean, we can try another one off into nowhere, 
If I press spacebar again, I beam drops down. Um, hit two, three to launch and stop. There it goes off into the sky. What is going on with that? So that is the disappointing part about this design. My other one just blew up behind me there. Um, let's circle back and try to hit the space center again. It's pretty fun though. This is like a super weird, insane, stupid thing that I built. There's the other I-beam circling back around. You can see it right there. So that thing went up, I don't know, a two kilometer arc smashed back down. So we better, uh, let's drop another one. This is working pretty well. Alright. I'm gonna get, like, dead center. Let's go now. Damn! Jesus Christ! This is, a uh, thing just takes off. That one's went up. You see that? That thing went up and way down. Like an arc. What the hell? I have no idea what kind of physics weirdness is going on with these I-beams uh, when they leave the barrel, but not really what I would have expected. Um, I think they're, they are a little bit more predictable when you launch them from the ground. I'm getting a little low here. Alright. Okay. I think what I want to do is go way up. Let's have the afterburners going. pretty happy with this design. This thing actually works. Ah, and if they get stuck, I got I have these landing gear here that push that guy right where it's supposed to be. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so the highlighting comes in handy. You can see I took the gear off there. If I pitch down, you can see the I-beams is affected by my forward, uh, it is affected by the drag. So if I drop my speed, it should fall. I'm going 80, 70 meters per second. This thing should fall. Come on. There you go. Right. And I'm going to add the landing gear back again. So they are holding this thing. Zoom in. Not really tightly, but they're going to prevent it from going too high in the in the barrel. But maybe I need to do some fine tuning there. But they did push that one down and they are holding it in on the turn. Now whether I can actually fire and hit this thing. Alright, so they're pitching way up. I'm gonna come in and do a dive on the space center and see if I can nail it. Let's see what we can do. Come in at like a 45 degree angle. This is probably good. Alright, the gear are holding it down. Alright, we're gonna do a 2-3. Again! Look at that! Look at that! It just pitches up. Okay. We are going to pull the gear back up because I don't want to drop them. Good. And then I'm going to come in upside down this time. And four again. Gear are going to push the I beam down into the barrel. Leave those on. Do a loop. 
This thing is pissing me off. This thing is, it's like, it's a freaking huge steel beam. It should fly straight out of the barrel. Why it's gaining lift is mind boggling to me. Um, but I think we can, all right, so I'm gonna freaking shoot this thing upside down. And it is gonna blow up. I don't know if I can blow up the actual space center but I might be able to blow up. So now this is tricky because I'm totally inverted. All my controls are reversed. Alright. Up is down, down is up, right is left. Up is down, up is down. Oh no! And when you can't hit it with eye beams, I would recommend just crashing right into it. That is one way to go. That is my eye beam launching fighter bomber, or whatever you want to call it. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, let me know if you have any ideas that you'd like me to build, or crazy control alg algorithms that you uh, want to see in action, controlling weird things in crazy ways. Later, everybody.